This video is an introduction to solving trig equations. Let's start with the equation 2 cosine x plus 1 equals 0. I want to find all the solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi and then get a general formula for all solutions, not just those in that interval. Let me start by rewriting this equation to isolate the tricky part, which is cosine of x. So I'm going to write 2 cosine x equals negative 1, and then divide both sides by 2. Now I'm looking for the angles x between 0 and 2 pi, whose cosine is negative 1 half. Since negative 1 half is one of the special values on the unit circle, I can use my knowledge of the unit circle to see that the angle between 0 and 2 pi must be either 2 pi over 3 or 4 pi over 3. My answer needs to include both of these values. There are no other spots on the unit circle whose cosine is negative 1 half, but there are more angles because we can always take one of these angles and add multiples of 2 pi to it. So if I want to find all solutions, I can take these two principal solutions, 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3, and simply add multiples of 2 pi to them. For example, 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi, or 2 pi over 3 minus 2 pi, 2 pi over 3 plus 4 pi, and so on. A much more efficient way to write this is to write 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi times k for k any integer, that is, any positive or negative whole number or zero. Similarly, I can write 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k to capture all solutions based on the principal solution of 4 pi over 3 by adding and subtracting multiples of 2 pi. This is my final solution. Next, let's look at a trig equation involving tangent. As usual, I'm going to start out by cleaning things up and isolating the tricky part, which in this case is tangent. So let me add tangent to both sides. That'll give me 3 tan x equals the square root of 3, and so tan x is the square root of 3 over 3. The square root of 3 over 3 looks suspiciously similar to value, the value of square root of 3 over 2, which is a special value on my unit circle. So my suspicion is that my unit circle will again help me find this value of x without a calculator. Recall that tan x is sine x over cosine x. So I'm looking for angles on the unit circle between 0 and 2 pi, where the ratio of sine over cosine will give me square root of 3 over 3. I actually only need to look in the first quadrant and the third quadrant, because those are the quadrants where tangent is positive. And I really only need to look at angles whose either sine or cosine has a square root of 3 in it. So by trial and error, I can see that tan pi over 6, which is sine pi over 6 over cosine pi over 6, will give me 1 half over root 3 over 2. That's the same thing as 1 half times 2 over root 3, which is 1 over root 3. If I rationalize that, I get root 3 over 3. So that value works. If I try tan of pi over 3 instead, I get root 3, which is not equal to root 3 over 3. So pi over 3 doesn't work. Similarly, I can work out some of the values in the third quadrant and see that 7 pi over 6 works, but 4 pi over 3 does not. So my answer to part A includes just the two values, pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. Now, if I want to find all solutions, not just those in the interval from 0 to 2 pi, I notice that I can take one of these principal solutions and add multiples of 2 pi to it, because that will give me the same angle. 
So I get pi over 6 plus 2 pi k and pi over 6, sorry, 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k for k any integer. This is a correct answer, but it's not as simple as it could be. Notice that 7 pi over 6 over here on the unit circle is exactly pi more than pi over 6. So instead of taking both of these and adding multiples of 2 pi to them, I could get all the same answers by just taking one of them and adding multiples of pi to it. So a more efficient answer is to say that x equals pi over 6 plus pi times k for k any integer. This will still capture all the same solutions because when k is even, I'll get this family of solutions, and when k is odd, I'll get this family. For example, when k is 1, pi over 6 plus 1 times pi is just the original 7 pi over 6. If you think about the fact that tangent has a period of pi instead of 2 pi, it makes a lot of sense that you should be able to write the solutions in this form. In this video, we solved basic trig equations by first isolating sine or tangent, or the same thing would work with cosine, and then using the unit circle to find principal solutions. Principal solutions are just solutions between 0 and 2 pi. And then adding multiples of 2 pi to these principal solutions to get all solutions. For tangent, we notice that it was equivalent to just use one principal solution and add multiples of pi instead of 2 pi. 